Hey everybody, Max and Monty 15 and 16 here back again with another Thomas Wooden Railway review. So today I will be reviewing Charlie, so comparing two wooden railway models against the Thomas and Friends of Wood counterpart. So of course, let's go ahead and begin. Charlie was first introduced in the season 13 episode Playtime, where he was a pretty annoying episode, I mean, it was a pretty annoying episode and he is a pretty annoying character. Of course, because many people, of course, hate him because of his infamous jokes that are actually pretty bad. But of course, as Brenner did with a lot of Miller-era characters, he uh, at least gave, gave Charlie some more personality in Season 17. And of course, Charlie was, uh, I mean, for me, he went from irredeemable to slightly likable. So I don't think Charlie's the worst character, but he is far from a good character in my opinion. So, of course, looking at his wooden railway versions, Charlie was first introduced in 2009, along as the same year that uh, his episode and uh, CGI counterpart came out. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. And so, anyway, looking at this Charlie model, it's a very dark purple. Of course, I also think it actually has a good face. I mean, especially saying that Learning Curve definitely did a lot of bad CGI faces. And it wasn't Tommy's fault, because Tommy just had to do the same thing that Learning Curve was doing. So yeah, I actually really do like this Charlie face. Um, so, yeah. But of course, um, he does have these almost faded bright orange wheels, just like Hero, as I said earlier. However, he does have a lot of detail, even though I did give him a white foot plate. I, I really regret that decision. But he does have a nicely molded headlamp piece as well. Also, uh, looking... Uh, pretty realistic to his CGI model. So moving right along, there really aren't that many differences to the um, 2013 version. Looking at Charlie here, he's definitely a brighter purple, as well as having softed edges like every single other Mattel item. Of course, Charlie does retain the same detail, and I do think that it looks quite good, even though um, th the writing on the 2009 version is definitely more legible and more crisp. However, uh, this Charlie here almost looks a little bit fuzzy in its detailing, especially because I actually got this with the uh, Ulfsted Station destination. Say that five times fast. But uh, yeah, Charlie was... Mattel did this weird thing where they would include random characters with random destinations, like Charlie with Ulfsted, and then there was Salty with the drawbridge and everything like that. And so that's actually how I got both my Salty and my Charlie. So, uh, yeah, the, however, um, I do like the color choice on this one more, even though I do think the darker purple is more realistic to the show. However, the red wheels look a lot nicer, and the face actually looks pretty good, even though I'm not particularly, uh, as keen on it as I am in the original. I think the original's face would, uh, definitely go better on the 2013 model, but both of these models are a mixed bag for me. Then, coming to the wooden railway version, I mean, that is an awful face right there. Of course, I didn't like the little uh, pupil, whatever it's called, so I kind of, I actually could just colored it in, because I'm really not a fan of uh, what they did to that, and especially it looked bad on Charlie, so, yeah. I mean, I think I made his face a little bit more bearable like that. But, of course, Charlie has lost so much of his detail, and he's gone back to um, the darker purple, as well as retaining his red wheels. However, um, even though he does have some good running board detail and buffers, um, I don't really think it was worth it, especially for the size and shape of this model, especially considering it's, uh, this, he's way too blocky, he's not, he is not, uh, swift curve, he's not curved enough, and I mean, really, I do think his boiler area is the worst part about his model. I mean, especially looking at him from the front, he looks awful. So, um, yeah, I mean, I do think that that's really pretty much it, because I really don't have enough to say about the Thomas and Friends Wood Charlie more than anything. So, uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and have a great day. Max and Monty, 15 and 16, signing out.